Well, good morning, my friend. Welcome to the Pastors Podcast. Tuesday morning, first day of August. And here we are, dog days of summer. Going to be a hot one here in Oklahoma City. They're talking about 105 degrees. And, um, and that's pretty hot even for here. But we're going to be okay. Had a good night out soul winning with my son-in-law last night. Tried to follow up on someone who visited our church. And then we um, then we went soul winning. Was able to see some people saved. Good way to start the week out. Makes the rest of the week a whole lot easier. And, um, and I, I hope that you're doing that as well. I hope that you take up that habit on Monday. Find somebody you can lead to Christ on Monday. It makes the rest of your week, really does. It, takes, it just makes the rest of your week easier. And, um, and you'll find that it helps you out to kind of stay open because you're setting your vision, setting your mindset. Let's look for souls all week long. Then what you'll be surprised is if you go soul winning on Monday, lead someone to Christ then the rest of the week, your eyes will be a little bit more open. You'll be able to find others that you can lead to Christ throughout the week. So I'd encourage you, make that a habit, would you? That you try to find somebody on Monday that you lead to Christ, that is always a help. Well, today, I want to talk about critical traits to building something. Um, in 2 Chronicles chapter 2, verse 1, the scripture says, And Solomon determined to build a house for the name of the Lord and the and then house, for his kingdom. One of the great need of, needs of today are people who have built something for God. And in days when many say that it can't be done, there must be people who show that it can be done. Um, there must, and there must be people who show it can be done that that you show that it can be done with God's help. Now we live in times when so many are just they're holding on. I'm holding on instead of charging forward by faith and doing something great for God. I don't want to hold on, I want to charge forward. Now, you'll certainly never build something for God if you never attempt anything great for God. Now, Solomon was not only commissioned to build the temple of God, but he did build it. That's, that's the key. He did it. Um, Solomon could have easily accepted the mentality that he was not his dad, that he could not do what, he, what his dad wanted. But Solomon understood that the God of his dad was still alive and had the power to build a, a temple through him. Now, there's three traits we find about Solomon that motivated him to build something for God. If you will take these three tra tra traits and put them in your life, you'll find that God can use you to build something great for him. So let me give these traits to you. First of all, vision. Vision is essential to building something great for God. Solomon determined to build a house for the Lord because he had a vision of the house being built. Um, we live in times when so many have no vision to do anything for the Lord. When I took the pastor here at Maranatha Baptist Church, I had a vision to build a great and thriving church. Now, you're sure to die at what you're doing if you have no vision to build something. Now, you can let the naysayers criticize. Who cares what they say? But keep that vision. Let it drive you. Let it push you. Build something great for God. If you have no vision for your church growing and doing something, you're going to stay right where you are. God uses visionaries. Without visionaries, Solomon would not have built the temple. Noah would not have built the ark. Abraham would not have left his homeland. And the early church would not have turned the world upside down for God. you got to get a vision because that is essential to building something great for God. Uh, so many churches, listen to me, you may be a pastor in a small town, but you got to have a vision what God can do through your church. You cannot just say, well, you know, I'm just, I'm just hoping that we can just get a few people in here and let's hold on. No, get a vision to build something great. Do something. Second, desire is an essential to building something for God. So you got to have vision. Second, you got to have desire. So you'll never have desire if you do not have a vision because vision pre, um, produces desire. Desire is a hunger for God to do something great through you. Desire is the longing that pushes you to pray. Desire is the yearning for God to do something um, great through you. Uh, your vision will die without a desire. Many, they get the vision for God to do something, but converting the vision to desire is where many um, make a mistake. They falter. Now, if you don't have a deep yearning in your soul for God to use you, you'll never convert, convert your vision to reality. So it takes vision and it takes, and it, and it, it takes desire. Third, it takes determination. Determination is essential to building something for God. Determination, it's the resolve that you're going to do it or you're going to die trying to do it. Determination is the strength that foregoes um, all the all what you have to what you, it foregoes your desires and says I want to 
If I have to battle through whatever, I want to battle through, but I want to make this thing happen. Determination is what allows you to persevere and keep going despite obstacles and opposition. Determination is the obstinate, get this now, to keep going despite criticism, attacks, and, and why? Because those who are jealous and lazy and hateful towards you, they're going to come after you. And you've got to have determination inside of you that says, I'm going to do this. I, I don't care what happens. I'm going to do that. Now, you'll never build anything great for God if you don't have these three traits. You've got to have a vision. Then you got to take that vision and, and, and add to that vision desire. And then when you get desire, you've got to have determination. I'm going to make this thing happen. or I'm going to die trying to make it happen. My friend, those three things are inside of anyone that God uses. That is great. If you don't have a vision, you're certainly, you're, what you're going to, you'll, you'll never do anything. What you're going to do is flounder and die where you are. If you don't have desire, you know, I'm telling you right now, that desire is what creates action. If you don't have determination, you'll quit. You got to have these three things, my friend. That's what it takes to build something great for God. Now, I don't know about you. I want God to do something great through me. So I'm not just going to sit and say, well, you know, let oh, no, let's charge forward by faith. Let's see what God can do through us so we can build something great in our church, in our cities, um, that, that this old world sees that God is still alive and still a powerful God who can do the miraculous even in our days. Well, my friend, I hope this is a great help and an encouragement and challenge to you today. Let's remember today, be good to everyone. Everyone's having a tough time. Have a great day, my friend.